All right, so we got a new video from the act, man. The Hogwarts Legacy boycott is insane. Uh, surely this will go over well on Twitter. Let's take a look. There you are, casting spells in your open world Harry Potter game, and all of a sudden, you're a bigot. Oh, you yep. didn't ask for this. You didn't choose this. Yet there it is. What's up, everybody? What was that article? What did that say? This. Yet there it is. Hogwarts Legacy draws further complaints of anti-Semitism. Oh, right, yeah. Oh, God, dude. Is. What's up, everybody? This oh, is the so cringe. Man here. And today, we're putting on our hazmat suits and jumping headfirst into what is possibly the most toxic discourse around a video game I've ever seen since The Last oh. of Us Part 2. Now, unlike many of the hot takes that will be presented in this video... Also, I'm not going to discuss this drama any further after this video. We'll not talk about it in my review of Hog... Okay, that's... Yeah, that's fair. That I makes sense. I completely understand if you don't want to watch this video and you don't care about any of the political, social issues uh, people have been talking about surrounding Hogwarts Legacy. If you want to play a video game, that's totally fine. You do not have to be an activist. Now, I did talk about this on my second channel, Actman TV, in a separate video, so go subscribe there and oh, check that out if you're okay. curious and you want more of this Second content. channel, okay. With that being said, let's discuss the boycott of Hogwarts Legacy. Because while it seemed to have started with good intentions, that's how the road to hell is paved. It started off as a unified boycott on the r slash gaming circle jerk subreddit and other internet forums like Reset Era. It is an army bred for a single purpose. To destroy the world of gaming. It began to spread to <laughs> other parts of the internet, like Twitter, and a lot of people were just ripping on Jake. I will Rowling. not be buying this game, not because I think it makes me a transphobe. I just say Harry Potter. <laughs> okay, I mean, sure, yeah. Which is fine, totally yeah. fine and fair. There you go. But at some point, <laughs> it went from memes and a boycott into attacking anyone who was remotely excited for the game. Yeah, I've seen some pretty vile harassment that's gone on people rating i guess or i guess rating harassing streamers or youtubers and it's oh god it's so ah so disgusting dude it's so fucked up or who wanted to play it or like you're not making your your cause look good when you're when you're you know sending death threats towards people who are trying to just play a, enjoy a video game stream it this is the line you are not supposed to cross on, step over this line just step over that line over anyone. oh you stepped over the line as shocking as it is to hear <laughs> this there are people on this planet who don't spend every waking moment stalking jk rowling's social media posts it's impossible some of these people have no idea what she said in the past and now suddenly these random harry potter fans are, are being told that they're a bigot please do not support the upcoming hogwarts legacy game the reason being is that you may not be aware that by supporting this title you are essentially aligning yourself with some really heinous transphobic values i'm like what do you say fuck me for the boycott has started berating <laughs> others you are Hogwarts Legacy. Values. I'm like, what do you say fuck me for? The boy. Hogwarts Legacy streamer brought to tears. Oh, I heard about this. Is this the one where, like, the girlfriend was crying too, or the wife or something? Carter started oh, berating God, others. You are a bad person. Fucked you have up. terrible morals that are hurting trans people by purchasing this game. You are advocating for their genocide. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> hey, wait, wait. Hurting trans oh God, people by on. purchasing this game. You are. Trans activist brand Hogwarts Legacy, a genocide simulator as game attracts record interest. Oh my god, dude, that is insane. Advocating oh for god, their dude. genocide. Jimmy, we still got some of that trans propaganda. Hey, what, what, what you talking about that? What's your name? Yeah, the franchise where if you like it, you're harboring hatred and you're calling for the extermination of trans people. You, like, do you actually believe that? Shit, nigga, I got a fifth grade reading level. Oh, <laughs> you spend any money <laughs> on Harry Potter fuck? products, you are a bad person. Is essentially what the boycott turned into. But these people used such absurd appeals to emotion, right? Like, not everybody who touches Harry Potter is instantly transmogrified into a hateful bigot. That's just stupid. Is every game journalist, critic, and content creator who covers this game as part of their job? <laughs> Transphobes, terrible yeah. person? No. Are all the people going to Harry Potter land and Universal <laughs> Studios bigots? No! So, where did these boycotters come up with this idea? I had to get to the bottom of it, as it was the crux of their argument. JK herself has said that purchasing anything that she helped to create is a statement of support for her and her views. Did she now? Where? This is something I've heard a lot of people say ad nauseum, 
Now, one person who said this, I asked them for a source, uh, and their reply was to tell me, go Google it, and then they blocked me, <laughs> which is always a good sign, right? Yeah. And you're like, hey, can I uh, validate the truth of what you're saying? And they're like, nope. Bye. What's that? What's that one clip? It's like, what's the source? The source is that I made it the I, fuck up. As it happens, I I found the quote they're referencing, and it's a tweet from J.K. Rowling. Oh, okay. Here we now, go. Again, whatever you think about her, I'm just trying to set the record straight on everything. Now, remember, their entire argument that buying Hogwarts Legacy is an endorsement of J.K. Rowling and all her beliefs hinges on this one single quote. Someone tweeted at her, "How do you sleep at night knowing you've lost a whole audience from buying your books?" J.K. responded, "I read my most recent royalty checks, oh, okay. and I find the pain <laughs> goes away pretty oh, quickly." Oh gosh, she's such a piece of shit on it still although but like yeah so what does this have to do with her beliefs yeah on trans people well i'll tell you absolutely fucking nothing i mean it's a dumb premise to begin with right the idea that purchasing a product is like an endorsement or or validation of someone's beliefs like even if jk rowling said that she'd be an idiot because if paying someone money is an endorsement then all of us who pay taxes are going to hell. Buying or playing Hogwarts Legacy is not... Yeah, selective morality is like everything... In, in this day and age of, of capitalism, it's like, uh oh man, it's hard not to support... It's pretty much impossible not to support something that's like... Ends up going towards some fucked up person or belief. Anything besides, I want to play this game. I want to try it out. It looks fun. But this tweet isn't even about that. So the idea that royalties she collects from sales of Hogwarts Legacy go towards like these funds and campaigns to wipe trans people off the planet, it falls apart under the most basic of scrutiny. Separate your emotion and read the words in English. She's not saying money she makes is validation of her beliefs. It's validation that people still love her work, that she makes money and doesn't give a fuck what you think. So now the obvious question is, is why the Harry Potter game? Why this? Out of out of all of J.K. Rowling's sources of incomes, why is this the thing that people are targeting? Well, why are you so fixated on this game? It's funny, because that's actually my question as well. Why are you so fixated on this game? It just seems so odd to me that out of every avenue she gets money from, you decide to go after this kind of true, honestly, video game yeah. that she's not even involved with. But I think I know why. And it's a very woke game too. Like there's literally trans, there's a trans woman in it. Because it's easier. You get to get out of bed, pajamas on, go right onto your keyboard, and type in Harry Potter game bad. Therefore, I'm a good person. Oh, this person. Is this the person that called on? Yeah, oh, this was so, this was kind of silly. Uh, this was like a streamer who tried, who made a post saying that they're not going to be streaming the game and tried to uh, raise, a, start a movement, I guess, right? I call on every streamer to join me in taking a stance against bigotry. Ah, uh, God, it was a little silly. At some point, these movements yeah, always that, get hard. And then, <laughs> then it proceeds to break the Twitch record for most viewed game. Yeah. Oh, By my God. disingenuous individuals trying to look like the good guy for some type of purpose or validation. You see, my goal is to expose these boycotters for what they really are. Slacktivists. So Slacktivists. Oh, that's no funny. Legitimate claim that that we're all bigots. I can still respect their desire to boycott something, cause it sure as shit ain't my place to tell you how to ethically spend your money. So uh, don't tell me what to do. Do we have an accord? Good. Let's shake on it. But nope, that's not how these folks operate. If you're not with me, then you're my enemy. <laughs> now, once the game hit early access, the boycott really started to spiral into pure degeneracy. Introducing, have they streamed oh that my God, game. Dude, I saw that. Find out if anyone you follow on Twitch has streamed that uh, new wizard game. So you can bully and harass them. This is a really productive use of everyone's time. Like, what the fuck, dog? You took time out of your day to to make this database, then deleted it like six hours later. Oh, they deleted it. Maybe oh, that's time funny. to lock this. Bro just came out with a search engine intended to be used to target and harass what random a piece Twitch of shit. streamers. But the second he starts getting flack, he cowers back in his molehill. You're a pussy. I also love the irony of him being afraid to say the name of the game. I think there was a similar concept like that in, in the book. I don't think maybe. that they were afraid. I think that was just kind of a, a little gimmick. I don't know. So they tried bullying others into not streaming the game. Some succeeded, which is unfortunate. Twitch's Hassan says streamers won't play Hogwarts. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. I, I have seen that if uh, a couple streamers. Yeah, Hassan being one of them. Valkyrie, I think she said that uh, she did. Well, not that she was afraid. She just didn't. She she said that she uh, that playing the game. Ah, whatever.
she uh yeah she was kind of afraid but not One really such streamer was hassan piker who's one of the biggest on twitch now he wanted to stream the game and do a fundraiser on those oh he streams. did want to stream the game i was planning on playing hogwarts legacy and inviting every streamer friend who who plans on who planned on playing it to a healthy competition to do a fundraiser for trans charities over choosing i'm still considering it with charity funds like that would go ago. towards helping trans people a noble cause luckily his audience was apparently successful in convincing him not to play the game and not to raise money for that charity everybody was like don't play it don't do it don't fucking uh don't play it and fundraise for a trans lifeline by playing that game okay i won't it's too much of a headache way to go guys good job good good going Mission accomplished. Good work. Congratulations on discouraging one of the biggest Twitch streamers from raising money for a cause you all pretend to care about. Real class act. Oh, yeah, that's kind of funny. Yeah, that is kind of fucked up, huh? What the hell? Yeah, it's like, okay, so you're against him playing the game, but him playing the game could have potentially raised tens to hundreds, probably hundreds of thousands of dollars towards the, uh, towards the movement that you care about, so... I don't know. Trans community strategy of harass streamers that play Hogwarts Legacy has been an exceptionally bad PR move. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Now, instead of someone like Hassan setting the tone by fundraising, their stream is crying because of the hate, which just makes their fans dislike trans people. True. Made the very true. Very heavy man. The only reason why I, I'm not playing this game, and I know a bunch of other people are not playing this game, is because we know that it's not worth it to get fucking bullied endlessly and called transphobic endlessly you know part of me is like yeah it's yeah that, that makes sense like there's gonna that's gonna take it's gonna yeah drain all the fun from the game hassan why should you give a fuck what these people think but the other part of me understands that like you don't want i don't think it's that he, he doesn't care or he cares about what they say it's just that it's just gonna be a bit yeah i get what he's saying it's gonna be a huge Bring headache such a toxic, just annoying divisive topic to your audience like i totally understand as a content creator just not wanting to deal with that at all yeah but it's fucking wild that this man is getting any shit at all for talking about hogwarts legacy when he just used his platform to raise over a million dollars for victims of the earthquake in turkey these people complaining don't care about charity we saw this with Mr. Beast. It's it, you can do the nicest things and they will still hate you. So don't even bother trying to please them. It's a waste of time. So after the boycott resulted in much more press promotion, sales and popularity of the game, the boycotters showed their true colors after exhausting all their options. They have resorted to uh, spoiling the game's story and ending for as many people as possible. Uh, I kind of figured this would happen. That's just you know? oh god. The boycotters this, this, they're what we thought they They're were. They're little fucking children, They're what honestly. We thought they were. True degenerates. Yeah. It was never about doing something positive or improving the lives of trans people. They simply wanted to ruin this piece of media for you. That was their true goal. The boycotters are who we thought they were. They are who we thought they were. I really hope were. you die for playing that wizard game. I'm going to put that in my calendar to wish that upon you every day. Jesus Christ. Christ, man. Of all the marginalized communities out there, the trans community is arguably the worst served by its supposed advocates. Couldn't have said it better myself. If their goal was to lower overall revenue for this game, they utterly failed at that. And if their goal was to promote positivity towards the trans community, they have failed because they continue to portray themselves as deranged lunatics representing that community. I mean, a lot of this boycotting shit is happening. A lot of the loudest voices are, are kind of coming up on Twitter. And I feel like with any community, Twitter is just, it's just a cesspool, man. It's just, it, it, it. you lose. Good day, sir. Good to see never, the never helps. naturally turned into targeted harassment with its own database to boot. Think I'll take two copies of Hogwarts Legacy now. So you're going to buy a pro-slavery game twice to own the trans community? What? You're a Pro-slavery? Listening to talkers makes me thirsty. You don't seem to understand the situation. I understand that if any more words come pouring out... <laughs> 461 replies. Oh my god. Out your cunt mouth. I'm going to have to buy every single copy of Hogwarts Legacy in this game. Stop. You spent your whole life reviewing video games. You're gonna die for Hogwarts Legacy. Someone is. I guess my black ass playing this game now supports slavery. <laughs> Good lord. You didn't ask for this. You didn't choose this. Like, okay, so uh, it's, so it's one thing to say like the game is transphobic, but but pro slavery? Yeah, the where did fuck that come are you talking from? About? But gee, with so many people taking a stand against this hateful filth, 
It must have had a huge negative impact on Hogwarts legacy, its sales, review scores, Twitch viewership, right. and Steam charts, right? Right. Hogwarts Legacy is officially the number one single player game ever streamed on Twitch. And it has like a 91 on Metacritic. Um, uh, uh, sh uh, surely review scores were impacted. <laughs> yeah, right. You oh, won. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Steam charts. 9.1. Chart, help me out here. Oh, overwhelmingly minute. positive. Yep. These numbers are all from from before the game actually launched. You mean these are all players who pre-ordered the deluxe edition for early access? Hell yeah. Well, boy, Carters, I only got one thing to say to you. Congratulations. You played yourself. I already got the title for J.K. Rowling's next book, Harry Potter and the Law of Unintended Consequences. You've probably seen many people and posts in response to some of these batshit takes saying something like, okay, I wasn't going to buy the game, but now I am. If you just say, Harry Potter's written by a transphobe, so you're transphobic for watching it, and then leave it at that, you're not actually advancing something. For me, this is more about unsuccessful and successful protest movements and how people end up hyper-focusing or lasering in on certain things that otherwise are counterproductive. Their methods of boycotting are so obnoxious and in your face that they have actually become counterproductive to the cause itself. This one dude posted a spoiler and this guy said, I beat the game already, but good try. Glad you enjoyed your Nazi propaganda. That is, oh that my is God, a reach dude. so long. I don't even think Noble Team could grab it. I have to stop doing hot takes videos, okay? The, the Scarlet uh, Twitter man is infecting me. The boycott, it, you know, it's effectively become like those people that throw tomato sauce on famous works of art uh, to, to boycott something, I guess. And everyone's like, wow, that's a pretty douchey thing to do. Uh, uh, don't want to be associated with whatever you're boycotting or whatever <laughs> yeah. you're protesting because you seem like a fucking dickhead. Bro, right. I heard about people going to movie theaters Why the and art, man? The Force Awakens when it came out. And those people deserve to have their ass beat. Like, you're just trying to take enjoyment out of other people's lives for literally nothing in return. Do you know what schadenfreude is? No, I do not know what schadenfreude is. I got a new boycott <laughs> tactic for you guys. Why don't you light yourself on fire? Well, let's take a look oh my at some God. of the mainstream right. critics, right? <laughs> Because I'm sure we'll find much more rational critiques on Hogwarts Legacy fr from professionals, right? Right. When the story for Hogwarts Legacy was revealed in a trailer, people immediately noticed how wrong it felt to have the plot revolve around crushing a rebellion led by an oppressed race. The game is about keeping those oh my Jews God. in their place. <laughs> Did Kanye write that review? <laughs> game journalists when they see a goblin in a fantasy world. Is this a Jew? Hey man, you're let's the one that said it. Bullying people <laughs> what are you, for playing wrong with Hogwarts you? Legacy. Yes, let's. The big news around Hogwarts Legacy is one cisgender streamer getting upset, which reveals the layers of bias around reporting on this game. I I love how the writer starts with a little bias of her own towards straight people for some reason. The big news in the wake of Hogwarts Legacy's launch is that a cisgender white girl cried about it. And just, why are you bringing race into this, bro? Why? Come on, man, I can't keep doing this. She's of course referencing that clip Ugh. that went viral from girlfriend reviews, where after apparently dealing with some harassment in her chat, she got emotional and had to leave the stream, potentially cried. Trans people and their allies are now bullies for explaining why they don't support the game. Wrong, wrong, wrong. No, the people sending death threats and harassing streamers and coming up with websites to harass people and trying to spoil the game. Those are the bullies. Was this person bullied? Did they actually even cry? Neither of these things have any real proof behind them. Dude, she's writing this article just to downplay any potential harassment that might have occurred. What the fuck's wrong with you? Like, seeing how toxic and unhinged some of the boycotters are, it's completely believable that they would say some wild shit to girlfriend reviews. Ultimately, they were accused of supporting bigotry, but then when even explaining reasons against supporting the game is bullying, what does it even matter? You see what dumb old Stacy is doing here? She's completely willing to make the assumption that the harassment wasn't bad enough for anybody to complain about, but is also assuming that the comments f uh, that caused that clip uh, were completely reasonable questions. Remind me again about the layers of bias in game journalism? To my knowledge, J.K. Rowling basically said, 
Oh yeah, yeah, go make the game. Okay, whatever. Just pay me royalties. That was the extent of her involvement. And yet, yeah. all these people are also willing to attack their own colleagues, like, uh... other reviewers like IGN and the game developers themselves. It's like you are just blind firing at everyone involved in this game. Are there trans people who talk in extremes about this game? Absolutely. But for every example you hit back with of exactly that happening, we can respond tenfold with what happens to us. This is not a two wrongs make a right situation. It absolutely is. Thank you for specifying. This is like saying, what's that? You're poor? Uh, well, I'm homeless, so your struggle is completely invalid. Enjoy your food stamps. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Dude, stop playing the suffering Olympics. This isn't a competition. Streamers are finding out what it's like to be transgender on the internet, shouted at and harassed constantly by playing Hogwarts Legacy and they don't like it. What's that? People don't like being harassed? <laughs> I don't believe it. <laughs> what? News to me. Uh, I love targeted harassment too. And I can tell you're a big fan of it as well. Uh, you give off that vibe of like, I enjoy suffering and hope it spreads to others. And I can really get down with that vibe, you know? More people should be harassed for playing video games. I completely agree. On Saturday, February 4th, I was made aware of the extensive and blatant ad campaign for Hogwarts Legacy on Twitch, utilizing and interrupting streams to promote this offensive product. Blah, 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 this blah. I will product, not be streaming yeah. this game while the ad campaign remains active. I call on every streamer to join me in taking a stance against bigotry, hatred, and those who support every views. streamer right i'm trans myself can we stop the virtue signaling no one cares this is a really selfish perspective you're screwing all the good hard-working people who made the game with no hate in their soul just to be vindictive towards one person yikes as a trans woman i believe everyone should be free to enjoy hogwarts legacy i pre-ordered it and plan on enjoying it myself everyone has been waiting for a game like this and we need to separate jk from the game developers who have worked endlessly See, now these are good to bring us a masterpiece these are good takes but fuck those game developers apparently i saw a great quote in my comments section you can say what a good person should be like or simply be one could end the video right there to be honest I should get that comment framed. Now, I think as a palate cleanser, we, we need some good takes, okay? Every day there's new trans legislation being written to basically eliminate trans people from existence. Y'all are talking about a video game that I'm not even playing. Recognize that this is about engagement on Twitter, a feeling of hopelessness and nothing else. This is, this is the thing, dude. When you confront these people with like, hey, you could actually contribute like I did, like I, I, I donated to a charity, a trans lifeline on stream, pointed it out, said, hey, donate if you want to boycott the game, then donate that 60 bucks there. And what was their response? Nope, I can't do that. I'm broke. Donate money and actually help them. Put your money where your mouth is or stop bitching and virtue signaling. Nah, I'm not doing I Wait, what? Yeah, this ain't it, Chief. Donating doesn't hurt trans people, but buying a game with royalties at Link that link so someone that has outspokenly supported anti-trans efforts does. Wait, what? <sighs> Donating. Actually help them. Put your money where your mouth is or stop bitching and virtue signaling. Nah, I'm not doing either. I want to be mad. I don't want a solution. He's using his platform <laughs> to promote donating to help trans people and your response is, this ain't it, chief. Yeah, they don't want to help. They've made that abundantly clear by now. Not a fucking peep of this from any of these boycotters. Not a fucking peep about donating to charity or right, anything. Right. They're actively shutting down people trying to do that. No shade to people who want to boycott the game. I respect your viewpoints, but what if I told you people can like Harry Potter, but also not agree with or support JK's views? Like, do we really need to be sending death threats over this shit? Stop thinking rationally on Twitter. It will do you no good. <laughs> <laughs> now let's get back to some dog water takes. Hogwarts oh boy. Legacy does not deserve to be reviewed. This is all going to come back again uh, near the end of the year when the game awards come come up again because this is definitely going to get nominated for game of the year and it honestly might potentially i might win i'm not sure what the I'd, I'd have to look at the rest of the games that are coming out this year but this this could be a contender and when that comes oh god we're just gonna this is gonna cycle over again on its own merits i can't imagine gonna get a whole it. other twitter twitter uh, uproar about voting for hogwarts legacy and if it wins you know fuck career in journalism reviews or critiques of media and thinking this is ever an acceptable stance to take whether or not we want to admit it it is impossible to talk positively about hogwarts legacy without harming a community of human beings what but then you see how the polarizing yeah, you can are coming in where wired has just posted theirs and 
They gave it a one out of ten. Oh, of course the, they did. Wait, wh uh, wait what did they say? Where Wired has just something about anti-Semitic roots. The story is rooted in anti-Semitic tropes. The gameplay feels dated. The graphics feel like they're a couple generations behind. All the characters are one-dimensional. Doesn't stay true to the established lore. Every character feels like an off-brand version of the characters we know and love. There's no sense of place, no magic, no heart. Okay, that is an extremely biased take because this none of this is true. What the fuck? They gave it a what? one out. It helped me say goodbye to the setting for good. Gameplay feels dated. Graphics feel like the graphics are amazing. Characters are one-dimensional. Eh, a little, not really though. It doesn't say true to the established lore. That's not true. Each every character feels like an off-brand version of the characters we know and love. Not true at all. There's no sense of place, no magic, no heart. Not true at all. But I, this is exactly what many were fearing that ethics would be tossed away in journalism where the product would not be reviewed on its own merits i want to make it clear to you right they, now that they as went a in with a bias individual i have no interest in that kind of fairness or objectivity when it comes to hogwarts legacy i feel a moral imperative to oppose it ah yes the layers of bias in reporting on this game hogwarts legacy cannot and should not be judged on its own merits oh yes, my it god absolutely can. that's what i'm going to do i'm making this video to focus on the discourse side and a separate video to review it which i'm going to, to ignore focus this topic on the game completely. if you cannot separate the art from the artist then you have failed your job as a critic and you should get the fuck out of this profession i think it's safe to say we truly do live Damn. in the worst timeline if ign the people that are known for giving like call of duty nines and tens and actual good games a mid score <laughs> they are the ones that are coming out with balanced takes about separating wait the elephant in the room with hogwarts like these characters whose comments about transitions we said her many people this has driven some call for boy fraud. They don't give all their good weapon. They're like, done so sure. Regardless, IGN has always will continue to champion human rights causes. Support. I swear it's a job to answer the question whether or not we find it to be fun to play. And these separate so it's virtually in all case consideration of the work of hundreds of games developed. Stands leaving behind the scenes. Wow, okay, that's actually a pretty good take from IGN. What the hell? From the actual work, the Jesus. artists from the arts. You can give something a fair and balanced review while acknowledging issues you have with it that are unrelated to the product itself. A good critic can do that, but a hack critic will expose themselves as being too biased to take an objective approach to their own profession. You are a hack for writing this article, Percy yeah, Ransom. Fuck you, Percy. You are a hack. There is no <laughs> magic in Hogwarts Legacy. The game is mid at best. One out of ten. <laughs> one out of ten. Jesus. Oh, that was. Yeah. I love that. It, yeah, it's it's mid at best. One out of ten. One. It is a little <laughs> yeah. something for everyone. This is a review. This is an actual review. The story is rooted in anti-Semitic tropes. The gameplay feels outdated. The graphics feel like they're a couple generations behind. The graphics oh, yeah. are dog shit. The graphics are amazing, the graphics dude. Are dog shit. The graphics are dog shit. This is a review of Hogwarts Legacy that gives the game a one out of 10, and only four of the 20 paragraphs written are directly about the game itself. You are a hack. These people are why trust in game journalism has been eroded. You have no business reviewing games for a profession. Quit, get your ass out. You are a hack. Now, the unfortunate reality is that a lot of these boycotters, well, some of them aren't looking for anything logical. They can't be bought, bullied, reasoned, or negotiated with some of them just want to watch the world burn you see i'm all for people standing up and doing something positive for what they believe in the problem is you have people and subreddits like r slash gaming circle jerk that dilute that vision of positivity and turn it into an attack they simply echo their opinions in a chamber for karma for pointless internet points True. points that contribute nothing to the actual cause but do contribute to their own sense of self-satisfaction True. because if this shit post i make gets 5,000 likes on reddit then i have done something then i have done my part spoiler alert you haven't done shit stop pretending like you care fucking donate to a lifeline the, the mod team at r slash gaming circle jerk would rather pin spoilers for the game than a fucking charity. They, these people got no problems wasting hours and hours bitching and moaning on Twitter, screeching into the void. But when confronted with something that they can actually do that has a tangible positive benefit on real people, well, excuses, excuses, excuses. I can't donate, I'm broke. Anyways, you're a bad person for donating. Stop using trans people as a vessel for your internet karma. Okay, and, he and here's the message I got, and I wanted to share it with you guys. I just wanted to privately say thank you for actually being a real world change for trans people like me. I don't believe playing a game makes you transphobic. 
I do believe villainizing people for playing games creates more transphobes. True. And it's harassing a, people makes, breeds yeah. extremism. Awful way to win allies. I think if you want to make allies in the first place, there's a saying, right? You, you catch more flies with honey than with vinegar, right? Like the moment you get into this point where you're like bullying people, they're not really going to want to be an ally. They're going to probably be radicalized in an opposite direction, which is the last thing you want. Keep doing what you do. It's amazing to see a helpline that has saved my life before get more attention and donations. If anything good has come from this line of discussion, it's that. Thank you to the person for wow. sending me this incredible message. Uh, it's good to know I did the right thing. After I donated 2000 to that hotline on stream and encouraged others to do so, one final point. What do you think r slash gaming circle jerks reaction to that was? Oh my God. Yes. Come on now, lads. Act man is still the no politics in my video guy. A KKK member could come on here and say trans rights and white parents people would just say redemption arc. A KKK member could come on here and say trans rights and white trans people will just go redemption arc? Yes. Um, they compared me to a, a KKK, KKK, KKK member. What the fuck? That's what they did. In the famous words of Rage Against the Machine, know your enemy. And if you go into the comments on this Reddit post, nobody is talking about donating to charity or raising money. None of them. I don't even know why you'd want to claim act, man. Dude is annoying and makes gamer bro content. That's my point. We should not let gestures like these, no matter how right they are on their own, blind us and praise shite content creators. Remember, guys, we we still hate the act, man. We have to hate, 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 a monster. For the most part, the people getting Hogwarts Legacy, it doesn't mean anything to them except they just like Harry Potter. They're not sharing any views with anyone. Alienating people with baseless labels serves no purpose. All it does is continue to divide everyone. Hope someday you can understand that. In the meantime, I'm gonna be in Hogwarts. So in conclusion, <laughs> just because you are boycotting something that you feel is a moral imperative does not mean you can act like a shitty person and everyone should just excuse that. I know this video was a bit out there for what I typically post on the main channel. Rest assured, it, this is not a, a new direction for the channel or anything. I really just had to vent on this because the amount of stupidity and shitheads I saw was just sparked a fire in my heart. I think at this point we should actively d ignore this discourse because I want to get back to talking about video games, mechanics, and deep, thoughtful analysis. It's of hard to ignore I it though. That I turned into a career. We're gonna get back to that, and we're gonna leave this in the past. It's gonna disappear for. I don't think. I mean, I think it's gonna come back. Like I said, person playing Hogwarts Legacy near the end of the year the when the Game Awards are come not up. Bigots and transphobes for developing the game. And you're not a bad person for simply boycotting and refusing to play the game. Just remember that the ends do not always justify the means. But thank you all for watching. Let me know your this thoughts. This is clearly the, the, the most successful below. boycott like in video history. Like if you enjoyed it and subscribe to The Act Man for more awesome content. All right, everyone, that's all I got for today. All right, everyone, that's all I got for today. This is The Act Man signing out. Peace. This is a good quote from Yu-Gi-Oh of all, of all places. When you fight using hate to achieve peace, you already lost. Yugi Moto. Uh...